Ever feel like your muscle gains have hit a wall? You've been crushing it in the gym, downing those protein shakes, yet your muscles aren't growing at the rate you imagined. What if I told you there's a way to reignite that muscle growth and achieve the physique you've always dreamed of without resorting to dangerous shortcuts? Today we're diving into several ways to speed up muscle growth. Building muscle isn't just about looking good. It's essential for overall health, metabolism, and functionality. But as many of us know, muscle growth can be painfully slow, especially once those initial newbie gains fade away. Don't worry though, we'll help you break through that plateau and accelerate your progress with proven natural methods. From training techniques to nutritional tweaks, we've got everything you need to know to maximize your gains without compromising your health. Lift heavier. You might be wondering, why should you focus on lifting heavier weights? Well, if you want to break through muscle growth plateaus, lifting heavier is a game changer. High intensity training, which involves lifting heavier weights, activates more motor units and muscle fibers, leading to greater hypertrophy. To illustrate this, a 2021 study compared high load versus high volume resistance training. Over six weeks, high volume training increased muscle cross-sectional area and non-myofibrillar protein synthesis, while high load training resulted in greater strength gains. This shows that high load training is particularly beneficial for increasing strength. Why does this happen? High intensity training creates greater mechanical tension, crucial for muscle growth. While high volume training helps beginners, experienced lifters can make substantial gains with heavy low volume sets. Research supports this approach. A 2015 study found that both low load and high load training increased muscle thickness, but high load training led to greater strength gains, especially in the back squat and one rep max bench press. So if you've been sticking to high rep, lower weight routines, it might be time to challenge your muscles with heavier weights and unlock your full potential. Training to failure. You might think you're pushing hard, but are you really pushing to the brink? Training to failure means performing an exercise until you physically can't complete another rep. This method maximizes muscle fiber recruitment, leading to greater muscle growth. However, recent research suggests that training to failure isn't always necessary. A meta-analysis found that while training to failure can promote growth, doing so excessively can lead to muscle damage and longer recovery periods, ultimately slowing progress. Instead, training a few reps shy of failure can be just as effective and safer. A 2020 study compared muscle failure training with non-failure training on muscle mass, strength, activation, and muscle architecture in trained individuals. Both protocols significantly increased muscle cross-sectional area, pination angle, fascicle length, and one repetition maximum strength, indicating similar effectiveness. Another study in 2012 examined muscle activation during strength training with heavy loads versus repetitions to failure using electromyography. The results showed that muscle activation was lower at the start and higher towards the end of the failure set compared to the heavy load set, with muscle activity plateauing three to five repetitions before failure, suggesting complete failure isn't necessary. So if you've been pushing every set to the absolute limit, consider dialing it back slightly. However, a 2021 study showed that participants often self-selected loads that were too light for their goals. So while you don't need to go to failure to maximize hypertrophy, habitually training with more than five reps in reserve might leave muscle growth on the table. Focus on high quality reps and proper form and allow your body adequate time to recover. This balanced approach will help you continue making gains without the risk of burnout or injury. Quality protein intake. Protein provides essential building blocks for muscle repair and growth. Without sufficient protein, your body can't effectively build muscle after intense workouts. Aim for 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight daily to maximize muscle protein synthesis. A 2021 review of 105 studies found that increasing protein intake by 0.1 grams per kilogram per day significantly boosts lean body mass, especially when total intake is below 1.3 grams per kilogram per day. Even small protein increases can help maintain lean body mass. Strategic protein timing is crucial. Consuming about 40 grams of protein one to three hours before bed can significantly enhance muscle protein synthesis throughout the night. A slight caloric surplus is also necessary for muscle growth. A 2023 study on trained lifters showed that a 5% extra calorie intake led to better bench press gains and less fat increase compared to higher surpluses, highlighting the importance of moderation and suggesting a range from maintenance to 20% rather than the traditional 500 calorie surplus. 
High quality protein sources are essential. Animal proteins like meat, fish, dairy and eggs provide all essential amino acids. For plant-based diets, combining sources like beans and rice ensures a robust amino acid profile. Get enough sleep. Sleep is crucial for hormonal balance and protein synthesis, both essential for muscle recovery and growth. Research from the American College of Physicians found that subjects who slept 8.5 hours per night while in a calorie deficit lost more fat and retained more muscle compared to those who slept only 5.5 hours. This underscores how critical sleep is for muscle preservation and fat loss. Lack of sleep has been shown to reduce testosterone production by 10-15% to in just one week. It also decreases levels of IGF-1, a crucial hormone for muscle hypertrophy that works via the mTOR pathway to increase protein synthesis and is essential for satellite cell proliferation. Sleep deprivation not only hampers anabolic processes, but also increases catabolic activity. It elevates cortisol levels, a stress hormone that inhibits protein synthesis and activates pathways leading to muscle breakdown. Chronic elevations of cortisol can severely impede muscle growth and recovery. Prioritizing sleep means not just getting more hours but also improving sleep quality. A 2020 study demonstrated that individuals who received lessons on sleep hygiene and followed a consistent sleep schedule gained muscle 30% faster over 10 weeks compared to those who didn't. This highlights the profound impact of quality sleep on muscle growth. There's no one size fits all answer to how long you should sleep for, but aim for 7-9 to nine hours of uninterrupted sleep each night. However, if you need to wake up to an alarm, you're not sleeping long enough. Perform more sets. When it comes to muscle hypertrophy, increasing your training volume can be a game changer. Performing more sets can lead to greater muscle growth. But how many sets should you be doing? According to a 2017 review, performing four sets per muscle group per week is sufficient for substantial gains. However, another study from the same year found that doing more than 10 sets per muscle group per week resulted in the most growth. Some studies suggest even higher volumes might lead to more significant hypertrophy. But there's a caveat. The additional gains from extremely high volumes might be due to an increase in sarcoplasmic space, a long-lasting pump caused by increased intramuscular fluid. This type of growth, known as sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, isn't the same as true muscle growth, which involves the addition of new muscle fibers. Additionally, a 2016 study had participants train one leg with 6 to 9 sets per week and the other with 15 sets per week. Results showed that responses to training volume are highly individual. This study suggests you don't need high volume to build muscle and over time excessive volume can hinder growth due to increased fatigue and insufficient recovery. To find the optimal number of sets for you, consider starting at the lower end of the 10 to 20 weekly sets range, especially if you're a beginner. Gradually increase the volume as you gain experience and if your progress stalls. Time under tension. Maximizing muscle growth hinges on the time your muscles spend under tension. Control each rep, taking two to eight seconds to ensure effective muscle fiber engagement. This isn't just about rep speed, but using a full range of motion, focusing on fully stretching and contracting the muscle during each exercise. In a 2011 study, eight men performed slow and rapid leg extensions to failure. The results showed that the slow exercise increased muscle protein synthesis rates more significantly than the rapid exercise, suggesting that longer muscle tension time during exercise may enhance muscle growth. Using a full range of motion involves more than moving the weight from point A to point B. It's about achieving a full stretch and contraction. For instance, in a dumbbell press, lower the weights to fully stretch your chest muscles. Similarly, in squats and bicep curls, aim for a deep stretch at the bottom of each rep. Choosing the right exercises is crucial for maximizing muscle stretch. Research shows that exercises challenging muscles in their stretch positions lead to greater hypertrophy. Studies on quads, hamstrings, biceps and triceps confirm this. For example, behind the body cable lateral raises for shoulders can lead to more significant growth than standard dumbbell lateral raises. Training at longer muscle lengths can also enhance muscle growth. A 2019 study found that squatting through 140 degrees of knee flexion led to similar quad growth as squatting through 90 degrees, suggesting that training at longer muscle lengths maximizes growth without needing to push to the absolute longest muscle lengths. For optimal results, incorporate exercises that maximize muscle stretch, control the weight, use a full range of motion, and focus on the stretch phase of each movement. 
This approach targets the muscle effectively and stimulates growth efficiently. Cold therapy. Cold therapy, including cold showers, immersion, and cryotherapy, offers significant benefits for muscle recovery by reducing inflammation and promoting muscle gene expression. When exposed to cold, your body works to maintain core temperature, burning calories, and stimulating brown fat, which boosts metabolism and aids muscle recovery. Cold exposure increases the activity of genes crucial for muscle growth and repair, as well as RNA, essential for protein synthesis in muscles. While initial muscle shrinkage may occur due to cold, the recovery phase leads to increased muscle size and strength. However, timing is crucial. Immediate cold exposure after hypertrophy training can blunt the muscle building process by interrupting necessary signaling pathways. Instead, use it strategically on rest days or during transition phases between training blocks. Studies underscore this point. A 2019 study examined cold water immersion after resistance training and found that the immersion group had less muscle growth but similar strength gains compared to passive recovery. This suggests that cold water may reduce muscle growth by lowering protein synthesis and increasing protein breakdown. To apply cold therapy correctly, start with short, manageable sessions and gradually increase the duration. Begin cold showers with 30 seconds to a minute, extending to a few minutes over time. Cold immersion should be brief, typically lasting 5 to 15 minutes, but avoid overdoing it to prevent potential negative effects. If the methods mentioned previously aren't doing you any good, then steroids are probably your best bet. Just kidding. Anabolic steroids are touted as a quick fix to gain muscle, and while research proves that they can help you gain muscle, they come with a laundry list of serious side effects like heart failure, liver damage, and roid rage, just to name a few. Besides, we're looking at natural ways to build muscle, so I wouldn't recommend steroids by any means. But if you're looking to add a supplement to your regime, our final tip will probably be your safest option. Taking creatine. Creatine is the gold standard of strength-related supplements, known for its straightforward effectiveness. Our muscles store creatine, which forms phosphocreatine by attaching a phosphate group. Phosphocreatine plays a critical role in regenerating ATP, the primary energy carrier in muscle cells. During intense exercise, muscles deplete ATP quickly, but phosphocreatine replenishes ATP levels, enabling sustained performance. Beyond ATP production, creatine buffers hydrogen ions produced during intense exercise, delaying muscle fatigue and enhancing performance, allowing you to push harder and longer in your workouts. Creatine enhances muscular hypertrophy, both directly and indirectly. Indirectly, it significantly improves gym performance, as shown in a meta-analysis of over 300 studies, allowing higher intensities and closer training to failure. Directly, creatine pulls water into muscle cells, making them appear rounder and fuller, creating an optimal environment for growth. It also increases satellite cell numbers and myonuclei concentration in muscle fibers, promoting greater muscle fiber growth in response to strength training. Cycling creatine can be beneficial, especially if you're serious about muscle building. Some experts recommend cycling back to 20 grams for five days monthly to maintain optimal levels and avoid plateaus. Ensure you stay well hydrated as creatine increases water retention in muscles. At the end of the day, muscle growth is a slow process and while you might be tempted by quick fixes, nothing beats the power of natural methods to build muscle faster. So next time you hit the gym, remember to incorporate these techniques into your routine for maximum gains. If you found this video helpful, make sure to check out these two must watch videos right here. They're packed with tips and strategies to help you optimize your training and achieve your fitness goals. Until next time, keep pushing your limits and I'll see you in the next one.